Chapter 5 The Green Toyota The next day, Judy and I went to say goodbye to Jack Daly at Fairmount Cemetery. It was a warm day, and the trees were still green. It was a beautiful, sad day. Judy and I stood and watched. I looked at the people there. A lot of them were doctors and nurses from the hospital. Jack Daly didn't have any family. His mother and father were dead, and he didn't have any brothers or sisters. There were some friends, many of them young women. Look at all these women, I said to Judy. Jack Daly was a ladies' man, she said. He always had a lot of girlfriends. After it was finished, we started to walk away. But then, I saw a pretty young woman of about 25. She had short brown hair. Who's that? I asked Judy. Is she from the hospital? I don't think so, she answered. I don't know her. Just then, the young woman started to walk away, fast. She walked to a green car, a Toyota. Listen, I said to Judy, I'll see you later. I'm going to talk to her. I want to know who she is. I left Judy. I walked fast, too, but the young woman got into her Toyota and drove away. I got into the Chevy and started to drive behind her, but she drove very fast. There were a lot of cars on the Denver streets, and then, after some minutes, I wasn't behind the green Toyota anymore. The only thing I had was Colorado PKY-2397, the number on the back of the car. I stopped and called Danny Reno. I told him about the car and the number. Five minutes later, Danny called back. He was happy. Detective Lane, he said. Good news. The car's driver is Sandy Baker. She lives at 2327 Snowmass Street, Aspen, Colorado. I spoke to the Aspen Police Department. They're happy for you to talk to her. I turned the Chevy around and got on the road to Aspen.